Good morning, Sapporo. When I got here and saw the snow, first and only thing I wanted, piping hot bowl of ramen. And luckily this city, they got an entire alley dedicated to that. Let's go. It snows here almost every day. Um, came in yesterday, it was snowing. Look at this. Look at this fresh powder. All fluffy and cloud-like. Whew, just wanna roll around in it. Excuse me for one sec. Where were you when I went skiing here last month? How come you didn't come and I had to ski in mud for a week? <sighs> Sorry, I had to see that. that. That was a lot of pent up anger towards the snow that didn't materialize. I'm gonna go eat ramen now. Like I was saying, this city is known for ramen, specifically miso ramen, which is one of my favorites. And there is two, actually two ramen alleys, like entire alleys devoted to ramen in this city. A new one and an original one. We're going to the original one right now. And this one started in 1951 with about seven ramen shops. And now there's 17 amazing ramen joints. Think about it. I mean, how awesome is that? Instead of just like wandering around town looking for the best ramen shops, they're all together for you. Right there, Ganso Ramen Yokocho. Like I said, here in the winter, it snows a lot. And that's why ramen is so amazingly popular here. Oh, here it is. Most of these shops are not open yet, but uh, I'm gonna be spending a lot of time here. So I know there is one that's open right now. And we're just gonna stay here and eat and wait till they open. I don't love waiting for things, but for ramen, one of the loves of my life, I'll make the time. Oh, Ramen Alley. I feel like alleys are notorious for, for, for a couple of things. You either find really great food in them or you get mugged in them. It's like one, one or the other. I, I don't really see any ramen in just roaming around, so I think we're good. You walk around, there's so many different selection of ramen. So, so many. And most of these shops are absolutely delicious. Oat, butter, and corn. That's a Hokkaido original. If you don't know, Hokkaido is known for certain foods that they just excel at. Of course, the king crab, corn, milk products, and melons. So that's why in their ramen, you're gonna find corn, you're gonna find butter. Each shop looks like it has its own take on ramen. And they're really nicely priced as well. Oh, that's a big piece of shashu. Let's start with this place. This is Tishikaga ramen. They're known for their seafood soy sauce broth. Giant, giant cuts of chashu. It's so awesome that as I'm about to go in for my first bowl of ramen, it starts snowing. This is just picturesque. First of many. Pulls of ramen today. Oh man. And taste the anchovies. This broth is just like everything good about the fish is just pulverized and broken down into this amazing stock. I recommend utilizing the bite and slurp method. Take a bite of noodles, slurp some broth. I like the thickness and the doneness of the noodles. Not too thick, so the flavor still penetrates, but thick enough so it retains a lot of the chew, regardless of how long they've been sitting in the broth. This egg is just a thing of beauty. Look at this perfect orange glow. If you want to know what a perfect egg looks like, just imagine the perfect sunset. Is this why I always get hungry at dusk? The noodle and the broth is so good, the chashu almost became like an afterthought. That's probably the least impressive part of this bowl. It's just kind of thick pork, not much flavor there. Oh wow, that egg is just one of the creamiest, most perfectly cooked eggs I've had in any ramen shop. Bottom of the bowl, always the best. This is why you gotta come to the city in the winter. I can't imagine slurping this and have to walk out in the summer heat. I'm like looking forward to the wind and snow. Let's keep the ramen train going. All those ramen shops are slowly opening now, so I got here about 10.30. And there's a ramen shop opens at 10. It's the first one I went to. 11, I feel like I'm at like a Black Friday shopping spree and the store's just about to open their doors. Luckily, it's a weekday, there's not too many people here. I'm gonna break my day off into two parts of ramen eating. So I'm gonna eat now. And then I'm thinking 
uh, I'm gonna go look at this, the snow sculptures, all that, do all that touristy stuff. And I'll come back in the late afternoon when no one else is eating lunch. And it'll just be me. That's what I'm hoping. By the way, it's so nice, just look at this. Outside the alley, it's like a winter wonderland. And this city is like a city. It's not like I walk out and I see mountains everywhere, but with the snow slowly falling down, it's so pretty. The speaker is welcoming me to uh, Ramen Alley. I think this is like 11 o'clock, so like all the places are opening. And that's like the announcement. Oh, Tinho, this, this is the one. This is not a vending machine. You just order whatever you want. Let's go for the miso ramen, and we're gonna get corn and butter on the side. Look at this ramen. Sweet corn, chunk of butter. Oh, ho, 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 ho. excuse me, corn. Look at this. Look at this massive piece of chashu, thinly sliced, beautifully roasted. This might be the best piece of chashu I've had in this city so far. This actually looks like a good piece of chashu, unlike what I had at the last ramen shop. Of course, beautiful sunset of an egg, sprouts, onions, and the signature curvy yellow noodles seen often here in Hokkaido. And what's crazy about this shop is that the chef is, is he's a one-man army. He just does everything from scratch. And every single bowl of soup is almost customized. Literally, it's, it's, it's just like cooking each person serving one by one, all by himself. Oh, look at that creamy miso broth. Noodles cook perfectly. Nice bounce, nice chew. I also recommend taking a slurp of broth every time you take a bite of noodles. Just get more of that great soy and sweet flavor in every bite. This is one of the most unique bowl of ramen I've ever had. This broth is, is really something magical. And the corn was so good. A few kernels fell on the table here. Just picked it up and popped it in my mouth. <clears throat> Ain't wasting that. I will 100% recommend the added butter and corn inside the miso. Not only is this flavor so deep and so lovely, that hint of sweetness and that extra creaminess completely super saiyanized this thing. Also, what's great is that he cooks the sprouts separately and you can taste the flaming wok flavor on the sprouts. There's the chachu. I feel like this is a bite of Hokkaido right here. I'm just trying to go one more bowl before the place I really want to go eat at opens up. Oh, that looks great. Oh, look at the chachu. Sweet. Let's get this. This is a beautiful bowl of ramen. First time I've seen minced meat in a bowl of noodles. The chashu, you can see a slight smoke ring around it. It is definitely lean pieces of chashu. Third bowl of ramen, I'm still going strong. Oh yeah. When you find something delicious, Keep eating, never let go. This broth is probably the lightest of all the broths I've had today. Of course, that great creamy soy flavor. I can't wait to get to the bottom of this. I think of all the places I've been to, these noodles are the chewiest. I mean, that texture is as golden as these noodles itself. 100% best noodles of the day. And they taste really good, these little pieces of minced meat, who I feel like themselves have been sauteed in some miso so that flavor is just amplified you 100 percent taste the smokiness from the chashu 100 percent it's smoky and the flavor is good but like i noted in the beginning it is really lean i'm gonna come off a tad dry unfortunately of all the great broths and noodles i found um, in the alley today. I really haven't found that many good pieces of chashu, which I feel like is really a shame, you know? I really like this place because of the best noodle texture and the minced meat is so flavorful. It's such a great addition to this bowl. You should try the gyoza as well. This gyoza, here. Yeah, yeah, it's so nice. It's so nice? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Gyoza? Gyoza? I have a habit whenever someone said I should eat something. I'm what Chinese people call really guai. Like, if you tell me, especially when it comes to food, like if you tell me something is good, I should try it. I'm gonna trust you. My dumplings here, I did not expect this. Look at this, it looks like boiled dumplings. Usually, these are fried, right? Oh, this is amazing. 
come here and get this. Soft skin, meaty center, a little vinegary, and they covered it in this little pool of sesame sauce. Inside crunchy cabbage and meat. I almost enjoy this more than the ramen. Delicious. You would think after three bowls, three bowls and a plate of dumplings that uh, my enjoyment and my anticipation for my next bowl of ramen will go down, but <laughs> not the case. Here we are. Oh, this place is crazy. Miso cheese. All right, we're not going for that. That is what I want right there. This one, spicy miso. Let's do it. This is a really cool place. Got a rock star looking ramen chef. Arigatou gozaimasu. Hello, darling. Chilies on top, fresh scallions, fungus, mushrooms. This looks like a fattier piece of chashu. Oh, none of the chashu here in Hokkaido. I don't even think they give a crap about chashu. This thing is just like cold piece of chashu. The egg, not the prettiest I've seen today. Oh, but look at the noodles. Man, look at them twirl and dance in that broth. This, this is definitely a thicker miso broth. And all those chilies giving it a beautiful reddish color. I can't believe this, the fourth bowl of ramen I'm eating today, is the first spicy one I'm eating today. Oh, this place definitely has the atmosphere of a fun ramen place. Usually ramen places are, it's all business. You know, you go in, don't say a thing, eat and get out. This place, chef seems fun, lively joint. I like it. This is one of the more miso-y ramens I've had. You can definitely taste the fermentation of the soy more in this broth than any other broths I've had. And as soon as he starts cooking, as soon as he tossed the miso and some garlic into that pan, my mouth started to water, like right away. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna stop torturing myself. No one gives a rip about chashu here. I feel like here in um, San Porto, afterthought, at best. Oh, delicious little minced meat. I feel like the sprouts here are paying more attention to than the chashu, which is kind of sad for me. A melty, fatty piece of pork belly is something I always enjoy with my ramen. Noodle texture is good. Now I'm burning up. Oh, wow, that was the most warm, warmy upper ramen I've had today. I think after the fourth bowl, we're gonna hit a pause button on this thing. And we're gonna go to, uh, we're gonna go to the main site where they have the uh, ice sculptures, because that's why I'm actually in the city, to see the winter festival. So let's go take a look at that, walk around. And I wanna, I wanna try a good, well, Anthony Bourdain came here. Man, it's my food mentor. Anyway. I really want to be able to go to see the festival and I want to find a good bowl of king crab ramen because I mentioned this to you guys, I'm opening up a ramen place in New York City and one of the things we're going to be serving is fresh king crab ramen and the inspiration came from Hokkaido. So I really want to find a nice bowl of seafood ramen, king crab ramen and just put my face into it, you know? But for now, let's go see some ice sculptures. Look how crowded this place is now. If you want to go with nobody there, try going when I went like 10 o'clock in the morning or probably late afternoon. Otherwise, pretty crowded. All right, the plan was to come here after ramen, but I passed out. It was a horribly ramen-induced coma, and I just completely zonked out. This is so pretty. I'm at Odori Park. This is the main site of the sculptures, and this is where everything, the Winter Festival's whole things started like 50 years ago some school kids built snow ice sculptures here and then the Japanese defense forces that's their army got involved and start building massive ones and now here we are and this has become like a whole Japan phenomenon where people from around the world come here such as myself to look at these ice sculptures oh check this out this is crazy so it's not just ice sculptures now they turn this into like a massive snow ice event Those are like kids, elementary school kids. I mean, if I did that, yeah, I could fly off the ramp too and make a landing, you know, on my face. <sighs> so good. Wow. 
Here's all the food. Oh, I have struck the land of food. Tons of food places around here and growing fresh seafood. When you're here in uh, Sapporo, Hokkaido region, this is what you gotta eat. Sweet, fresh scallops. Yeah, it's a ramen place I went to this morning. Oh, Wagyu steak. Sauce, it's basically like a massive Japanese carnival. Oh, hot chocolate. I can use some hot chocolate. This is so cool. I mean, I'm just like starting to kind of explore this carnival, but I'm already so happy I came. It's like a true wonderland in the snow. And look at this, the first major ice sculpture I'm seeing, it's just a massive wall, look at that. You can see how big even the part of the sculpture is. Oh, and this is good. I went to some uh, Christmas festival in London where I bought my last hot chocolate. It was just basically a watery mess. Not in Japan. Oh my god, look at this. They built an igloo. What? Ice smoking lounge. No! They built a freaking igloo for smokers. Why did the smokers get all the fun? Let's go and check it out. I've never been in an ice building before. So cozy looking. Still cold though. This carnival right here. First time ever of all the times I've been in Japan, I've ever seen a trash can set up. Oh, what in the heck is this? Oh man, they should not make those girls perform like, must be freezing. I think I'm turning into a dad. As soon as I see those girls performing on stage, my first thought, that must be called. Who's making you do this? What the heck is this? Is that Hello Kitty's boyfriend? <laughs> Goodbye Kitty? This is so cool. Look at this. This is a whole train track with a cup noodle. I don't like their noodles, but I like their ice sculpture. <laughs> and there's a, like a cross between a King Kong and a Hulk with a we're like a chia pet guy over there. <laughs> this little train just kind of going through the, the ramen in this guy's mouth. This is so incredible. It's just snowing everywhere. I almost didn't come to this thing. I didn't even know about it until like a couple weeks ago. But I feel like just being here, this is one of the coolest, most like so warming, even though it's freezing. My soul is like being fed right now. It's like, I don't know, my spirit is tingling. If you can, next year, you gotta come here. This is just. This whole environment is just, ah, this vibe is incredible. Oh, this one is so creepy, look at this. The snowman, which looks like a jack-o'-lantern, ate a bunch of little snowmen. You know how like Japanese horror movies are the scariest of all horror movies? So are their snow sculptures, apparently. <laughs> what am I like, in the land of the living Dead snow sculptures? Points for creativity. It will freak me out if I was walking here alone at night. End of the line. This is it. I do want to say that even though you should come here, you get a very much a romantic vibe from this place, you know, with all the nice snow and the um, happy music and the siren apparently. So it is a really good event for couples or to go with people you love and just walking around here, you know, it, it does, does touch your feelings. It makes you think about the people you love and the people I love and things I care about. And it really makes me think deeply about what kind of ramen I want for dinner. I'm thinking seafood, definitely seafood. We actually have a crab gang ramen here. This is actually a really good uh, restaurant for crab ramen in Sapporo. Um, guess I'll just eat here. Ah, <laughs> 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 Snow crab, fresh corn, butter, peppers, onions, seaweed, and of course, classic 
Hokkaido style noodles. Only in Japan when you go to a fair that a restaurant noodle bowl looks pretty much exactly like you will find in the restaurant. I mean a piping hot bowl of noodles freshly made. Wow. Oh, a crab. That crab is so sweet. Oh, look at that. Big spoonful of crab. And they do it this way so you don't have to mess with the shell, which I kind of appreciate. I mean, it's steaming so much because it is so hot. Mmm. Boiling hot broth. <laughs> you see that? I know what happened. <laughs> I was like, wow, that is fattier than any other broth I've had today. That's because I was sipping the part where the butter was melted, so I was getting like a mouthful of butter. And as much as I love butter, nobody wants a mouthful of butter. Blend that in, and the broth. Mmm. That is so creamy. So creamy. Oh, man. Again, butter and corn. Wherever it's offered, yet take it. Picture perfect al dente noodles. I wanted some crab infused miso broth. And this is probably one of the thickest broths I have had today. And the miso is basically covering it like sauce. You get like two different types of creaminess here. One is from the poppin' sweet corn, and the other. It's just from the meaty crab. It's something that's so great to eat when you're in a festival. Bad thing I, I hate about the ramen in Hokkaido. Look at this. Frozen piece of meat. Uh, this is seriously, they love to surf here, but not so much the turf. This is just, uh, I've never had so many bad chashu in ramen places in Japan, which is like consistently bad. Actually, theirs is probably one of the better ones. At least it's fatty and tender. Oh, what they use here is really cool. They use raw onions instead of the sprouts. It creates more of a refreshing crunch anything else every bite is so thick and hearty this is great to eat and then head back out there and see some more sculptures and of course this festival i didn't even know about it i came here very last minute i was supposed to be back in tokyo but i'm so glad i made the trip here this is really one of the most wonderful experiences i have ever had in my life just uh spine tingling you know spidey sense inducing festivals but do come here such an amazing city had a great uh basically it's been a day of ramen had great ramen at the ramen alley great crab ramen here i got i got plans for uh fun few food days coming up but yeah i mean i'm i'm really loving this city and would love to come back i mean this is like it's just so pretty you know i know it's a city i don't know if it's the snow or maybe this lively atmosphere but it's one of the prettiest cities i mean just fun stuff to do everywhere it's just so cool anyway all the information for ramen alley is listed down below thank you all so much for watching until we eat again be safe see you later